Estamos de vuelta en el estudio para nuestro segmento final. Es herencia de Vene bueno, herencia venezolana. Bienvenido. Gracias. Es un Gracias. Es so placer. 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 Es un placer. And Let's go to English now. <laughs> okay. Muy buenos días. Muy Muchísimas buenos gracias días. por la invitación. Thank you so much for inviting us De today. nada. Es un momento especial para nuestro aquí. Y let's talk about herencia venezolana. Well, herencia venezolana, um, born in 2019, mm -hmm. even a little before the pandemic. Um, due to that, you know, interest of getting to promote our heritage, See? all yes. right, our heritage, and and that also um, incentivate that um, engage that community who are yeah. already here, the Paran Association, the Paranderos in Trinidad and Tobago, and just talk about more the origins. That that what unified Venezuela and Trinidad through music. Mm. Says Venezuelan heritage, um, herencia venezolana at that time was came together with the influx of Venezuelans in Trinidad. And a lot of people was looking for an auction to, you know, to do something, to, to play a, a role and um, and promote the culture and look for in inclusion and integration in Trinidad and Tobago. And something that is so important, of course, in Trinidad and Tobago, because our home is your home. It's all our home now. So. Share with us. I mean, you said that you know this is for everybody to come together to promote that inclusion and bring that unity. So, how did the members of the group come together? Did you well, meet here? At that time, mm -hmm. um, we started. To, well, the La Casita is the Hispanic Cultural Center okay. in Arima, mm -hmm. and all of them was lime in there and so on. So, some of them start to play, you know, because we have. All of us mm -hmm. are from different parts of Venezuela. Okay. So everyone has something, have a talent and has something um, from their city, mm -hmm. from their state, and everybody kind of start to share it, share it. And in that sharing, we say, well, why we don't came together? Why mm -hmm. we don't do something? Because someone invite the Venezuelans in La Casita to do something, and everybody just bring all the instruments we have in the center. They start to play, and they say, you know what? It's a time to do something, to, to make sure you all have a representation. So we call in ourselves like ambassadors of the culture. Mm -hmm. And and that is why so they came together, different voices. A lot of them was just um, initiating in the music, but we have a way to recreate, to, you know, to get something more positive of all the situation that was going through at that time. Wonderful. So you are now a part of the National Parang Association of Trinidad and Tobago, yes? Yes. So how have your performances been since you became a member? What have you been doing? Well, before we became members, we were part of um, the MAD company promotions, and, uh, and we were all over, Rio mm -hmm. Claro, Chaguanas, Puerto Spain. So a lot of people get to meet Herencia Venezolana after in 2021, when they actually act uh, adopt us and love mm -hmm. us to get in. It get us in. Um, we start to go in different places, including the headquarters after the velodrome, and people kind of understanding mm -hmm. the, uh, the Venezuelan heritage with form of um, asylum seekers, refugees, and migrants from Venezuela, and inviting us to get into the. Then think we are the origins of the parents in a way. Mm -hmm. So it's, we, we, but we're going all over to and different places. Rio Claro mentioned, what? Yes. Rio Claro, Mayaro. Mayaro, uh, Cuba. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. All over Puerto Trinidad. Spain. All over the Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> tell us a little bit about Christmas in July. Parang under the stars too. What's going to be happening? Well, we have um, nine bands performing, nine top bands. We have also Baron and Crazy will be there supporting the Paran. Well, remember Paran in July is just to make sure everybody understands them. Paran is anytime. Mm -hmm. Since and before the event, the Paran Association also do workshops to make sure people know about copywriting and all those things. But the event itself will be on Estate 101 on the 29th of July. Christmas in July, yes. So, you know what? I think we have to close off our show. But before we get to that, one question mm -hmm. I would love to hear. How do you feel about Parang in Trinidad versus Parang in Venezuela? <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, um, Paran and Trinidad, we, we, we definitely call them Paran. Okay. All right. Then adopt a lot of original music from Venezuela and the world. It's not only Venezuelan music there. They, the speed is a little more fast. Mm -hmm. uh, the arrangements, the enrichment of the Paran is unique. Is unique. Paran it's unique. unique. Paran it's unique. unique. Paran. Yes, Paran, Paran is Paran. Paran. We gonna get to you know we try to play Paran sometimes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Because very f fast, but Paranda fast mm -hmm. is is the same. Have the same happiness of mm -hmm. the Paran. Have the same energy. It's just kind of it's, it's slightly different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we love it both of them, and well, we here just to share. Mm -hmm. We love it and we're grateful that you're here to share with us this morning on now because it's time yeah. to close our show. So before we close our show, of course, Trinidad and Tobago and the world, muchas gracias. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Have a great fin de semana and you are starting off your weekend with none other than Herencia Venezolana right here on now. On behalf of the entire team, Rockers, on behalf of Kimberly and our entire camera crew that work so hard every single day. Have a wonderful weekend and let's wrap. Herencia de Venezolana, por favor. Yeah, check. Déjame pasar que mi madre enferma me mandó a llamar Río Manzanare Déjame pasar que mi madre enferma me mandó a llamar Río Manzanare Hey!